Hi, y'all. Today is Saturday, the 25th of February. Three more days. <clears throat> Three more days, and then it's a new month, huh? Oh, so, anyways, how are y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, let's start off with some good news. <laughs> Everybody in my class certified. We and my whole class certified. So we are, as of Friday, we were done with training, you guys. Um, it was nice. Um, our trainer did like a very nice like shout out for each and every one of us of what she's seen in us, um, like what we bring to the table. Uh, and it was it was really really nice. Um, the t like the higher ups were there, and two of the team leads was there. My team lead was there, and another team lead. I think the other one one was had a day off. So yeah, we're all going to be going to like three different teams. Uh, the person there's two people that's going to be on my team, like my best best friend at work. She's going to be on my team. We're going to be on the same team, so that's going to be cool. Um, how do I feel? I feel good. Um, I ain't gonna lie. And I think for a lot of us, a lot of us <laughs> at this job, we were like, wait, um, are we even gonna make it? Like we were, I remember one time we were just like, yo, we gotta look for a second job. Like we gotta look for other jobs cause we may not just make it. And for myself, I mentioned to y'all, I'm like, yo, I'm keeping, I got to keep Amazon. That's going to be a plan B, right? Amazon is no longer my plan B, y'all. No longer my plan B. Your girl is good. Um. So, okay. So there were three things we had to be worried about, right? Or meet, to meet qualification, we had to have, um, uh, surveys, customer surveys, which I'm good, right? I'm good. I ain't, I don't have an issue with surveys. If I'm doing my job right, you know, there may be some of those surveys where customers are not happy, where you can't give them what they want, but that's policy. But other than that, I'm personally, you can't, you can't thumbs me down for being me. You know what I mean? I'm Candace. You feel me? <laughs> like how I talk to y'all, that's how I talk to my customers. I keep it real. The other one, other thing we had to worry about outside of customer surveys, which is sent by email, uh, was um, was schedule adherence. So, you know, going to our breaks and lunches at time, logging off at the right time, okay? Which, okay, you you have control over that. You know, if you have control over your calls and it averages out, you know what I mean? You may go to break a little bit late or so forth, and but it all averages out. So I didn't have a problem with that. <clears throat> the third thing, third and last thing, which for me was my biggest thing, and I think for a lot of my colleagues was the biggest thing, was call handle time. Okay. They want our call handle time to be eight minutes or less. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> eight minutes? Let me tell y'all. That, wow. Like, let me just tell y'all. The goal was to be at like 99 something, right? So this is like, the percentage or something, your girl for the first, like the first week we started taking calls, I was at like 50 something. And then, you know, we started taking more calls, right? That this is being like on, on the phone, like solo dolo, right? And I was in the thirties, thirties, you guys. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I want to provide that white glove service. And, you know, they were like, yeah, you got to get these customers off the phone. I'm like, wait, I <laughs> I am trying to, you know, but I don't want to rush a customer off the phone. Let alone I 
don't really know what I'm doing, right? I'm still learning. All that to say, y'all, a switch went off. And in me, okay, not because I wasn't fearful of losing my job. I could care less. Let me tell y'all, I could care less if I certified, okay? Um, And we'll get to that in just a moment. But something went off of me and, you know, I found my rhythm. I found my rhythm of providing that white glove service, me being me, but also being efficient. And let me tell y'all, that was the best feeling ever. Your girl went from 30 something to 80 something and then to 96. You know what I mean? Like that was me. Like I was just like, whoop, <laughs> you know? And that was the best feeling ever. Like after a while, I was just like, wait, okay, I'm not going to have any problems. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm good. Yeah, you have some long calls. You have some small, like longer calls. You have some shorter calls. It all evens out and that's how it worked out. But wow, like my confidence, me finding my rhythm that it was like an overnight type of thing, you know? And I remember my colleagues mentioning like, Candace, you're making it harder than what it is. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I am I want to provide that excellent customer service. But what I found out was, Candace, you're, you're going into more stuff than the customer even needs to know. Like you're going into, you know, I'm d detail oriented, right? And I relay this information to, to the customer thinking they need this. No, that's blah, 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 blah to them. Just keep it simple, Candace. Keep it simple. And that was the main thing for me, y'all. Just keeping it simple. I'm providing you accurate information and that's it. You want it. You ask me this question. I'm only answering this question. Don't go above and beyond. And for me, going above and beyond was that white glove service type of deal. At the same time, I'm still learning, right? But I had to realize that, like, that's that's going above and beyond. But, Candace, you can do all of that without the blah, 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 all of that fluff, you know? And that's what I did, y'all. And I did, a lot of us didn't certify until Friday. There was, like, two people that certified beforehand, like, a week, a week and a half ago. They, we were all still in training class, though. But, you know, we're just taking calls just like normal, but they already certify. So they didn't have to worry about, like, stats at this point. Um, everybody else, y'all, it was crunch time. Friday, yesterday, Friday was the final day where it was just like everybody was had to wait on surveys, okay? Because if you didn't have eight eight surveys within that two-week two rolling period, you couldn't you couldn't have qualified, right? So everybody had to wait basically outside of those two people. Um so that was well, our class is eleven. We started off with fourteen people. We ended up with eleven people. Yeah. Eleven people. And everybody just had to wait on those surveys. They had because nobody, all of all of the rest of us, out of the all of the eleven, uh, besides the two, everybody had to wait on those surveys being calculated. And what they did for the very last day, okay, because we didn't have eight surveys in two rolling weeks, was they had to calculate since we've been on the phones. And from there, y'all, we're our team is legit, y'all. Our team is legit. We have some very, very strong reps. I will say when they hired this class, they know what they was doing. And let me tell you something. It's it's beautiful, right? Because it's we are the first class that do two departments, right? So when they even came up with, like, the stats, they never had a class that did both departments. So they were making up, like, oh, let's... We got to get something from this department, something from this department, and then we got to kind of figure out how we're going to do the stats, right? So this, we were the first, first class, okay, that does, was a dual class of learning both departments. And y'all, they said that, I think they said we were the first 
like even in general, right? In general, we were the first class that where nobody had to go into a second week of remediation, which I was thinking I was going to go into previously before I got into my rhythm. But um, nobody had to go into remediation, y'all. No one. And I'm so proud of us. Like, I'm so super proud of us. Um, and let me tell you why I didn't care if I kept the job. Like, I didn't care if I passed or not. I do like the company. It's not what I would have expected out of this company. Uh, I think a lot of us are kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing is perfect, okay? Nothing is perfect, but to be as big of a company as they are and how they portray themselves as an employee, you look into it and you're like, wait, we talking about the same company. This is the same company I thought was up here. It is up here, y'all. Don't get me wrong, but just how things go. It's been, what, three, three and a half months we've been in training. Three and a half months in training. Um, my mood, my depression has been awesome. My medications have been good. My anxiety has been basically non-existent because of the medication that I'm on. Um, my self-doubt was there, definitely, definitely. But I think with any job, even, you know, with my part-time job, like I told you guys how much it caused me so much anxiety. It did. But after a while, remember when I told you, I was like, wait, should I stay at my previous part-time job versus going to a full-time job? Because I'm like, you know, once you get into a rhythm, it's just like nothing can bring you down, right? Nothing can bring you down. Once you get into a rhythm, you know what works for you and you know what works for the company and the customer? It's like you can't go wrong, right? And uh, so, yeah, y'all, like a job for me, it's like I don't really have to really like the job, but... I can, I'm, I'll make it work for me. You know what I mean? I'll make it work for me. I'm a standout type of person, you know, with, with how I do things. Um, even, I know I don't think highly of myself, but y'all, when I work, I know I'm top tier. <laughs> I'm top tier, you know what I mean? And I love that this job allows me to be me and not not to say that my other job never allowed me to be me but this job promotes be you you know what i mean how you talk don't change you know what i mean you want to have converse, conversations with customers just be you you know and that's what i i, I, I do that you guys but like ugh, i don't know i don't know i'm happy i made it that means your girl's gonna be um balling <laughs> so that means we're our income will be straight you know um hopefully starting next month of march hopefully we start to bolt like our stats start to be eligible for bonusing so if we bonus if we hopefully our stats for march get paid out in april so we'll see you know how i told you guys back in the day how i felt really really i feel rich now and it's crazy because I make less money per hour at this job than I did at my previous full-time job. But my paychecks are higher. So I think, I don't know if it was just like more stuff being taken out. Like my medical, medical was higher. I don't know. But I'm like, wait, why is my paychecks so much higher, you know? Or unless I'm not just used to it. I mean, I look back at my other, my other... <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I look back at my other, uh, like, you know, um, budgeting books. And I'm like, wait, was it like 1300 1500 And I'm like, Candace, that's basically the same amount you're making now, plus you're making more. So I'm like, wait, I have all of the same things. I think probably healthcare is probably cheaper. That's the only thing I can think of. Healthcare is probably a little bit cheaper because I make less money per hour at this job than the previous job. My previous job, I was making what, like two, three dollars extra per hour. 
So yeah, y'all, I'm very, very happy. My schedule will be the exact same and nothing changed there. Um, I'm going to keep Amazon. I'm going to keep Amazon as long as my body will allow me to, uh, as long as my mood will allow me to. But I will say this, uh, my medication that I'm on has been wonderful. The only downside is the weight. And I know that. I knew that going into taking these medications, but at the same time, y'all, I just needed to get back to work. I needed to feel better. And I'm at that point. Uh, so now I can finally hopefully take a day off. Not hopefully, but take a day off, get an appointment for like eyeglasses, get an appointment for dentists and get an appointment for my actual doctor, seeing what we can do. I don't want to switch up the medication because I feel really, really good. And I felt good with this medication before, but the weight gain was outrageous. It is outrageous right now. You know what I mean? I'm at 260 something pounds right now, y'all. And yeah, I, I know I go through my phases of just like munching, munching, munching. But I haven't had much of that, y'all. I haven't had much of that. It was more recent. It was more recent uh, that I started to do that. Um... But yeah, even when I when I eat right, I'm still gaining weight. And that was the issue with me going off of this Lexapro in the beginning, you know. It I had I I'm at Wellbutrin. Wellbutrin, they say don't allow that there's no real study that says that people gain weight well with Wellbutrin, which I believe is the case, but Lexapro and some of these other medicines, they're like, mm-mm. Trintilex worked for me. Trintilex allowed me not to gain weight. I felt like that one was okay, but even when I was on Trintilex, my mood was outrageous, you know? Like that's I was on Trintilex when I quit my full-time my previous full-time job, and I'm just like, Candace, you're at that point like it's got to get a give or take, you know what I mean? And I I want to stay on the Lexapro, I really do weight gain and all like I'm not I'm not allowing my weight gain to want me to take me off of the medication because I know it's working for me I want to stay at this this mood that I'm at you know and <sighs> weight like I got it I I I will say for a fact I know I can eat better I will say that eat smaller portions I don't eat a lot, though. I don't eat a lot. Like, my friend at work, she's like, Kim, you don't eat a lot. <laughs> so, like, what you tell me what you eat, you don't eat a lot. I'm like, I don't. But, you know, when I get snacks in the house, then I go overboard um, because then I'm in my feelings. But I'm in my feelings when I buy them to begin with, you know. But other than that, like, I'm at peace, you know. I'm at peace with my weight gain, and I'm like, I know where it's coming from. If somebody want to judge me, judge me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we just never know what somebody's going through. You don't know. You don't know why somebody is the way they are. You don't know. And I'm like, nobody knows my full story, you know, unless they ask me, you know. But um, because you guys figure I got down to, what, 220? I got down to 230s. And then as soon as I got on these medications, prior to me getting on the medications, I was at, like, 246s around there because I was just, like, I was really stressed about work, but prior to that, you know, I was going to the gym, I was doing good, and then, you know, with the medication and stuff, it, it just started going up, and I'm like, I was going down, <laughs> but it's whatever, well, I, I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna figure it out one step at a time, um, but I'm very, very proud of myself, I'm very, very proud of my teammates, my class, like, we did that, <laughs> we did that. And, um, yeah, I'm so, so happy, you know, our training, our coaches, <laughs> you know, I will say everybody brought something to the table and that allowed us all to succeed. You know what I mean? It's like not everything's perfect, but everything combined works, you know, and we're here. We all made it. We, we did it first class, first class of dual jobs. Um, and we rocked it out, y'all. We rocked it out 100% certification, no remediation needed. And on a quick note, uh, one reason why I wasn't worried about, you know, the job is like, if it was meant for me, I, this is what I told my people. I'm like, if this job was meant for me, 
then I'll pass, you know. I'm not going to compromise me being myself for a job. If it doesn't, if me being me and my service doesn't work for this company, if it doesn't fit their standards, their numbers, then this is not for me because guess what? If I can't meet the requirements, then I'm going to always be stressed about the requirements. Does that, does that make sense to y'all? Like, I want a job to be easy for me. If I, if I'm doing my job, if I'm doing my job the right way, not cutting corners and providing excellent customer service and I'm hitting the numbers, that means it's for me. You know what I mean? And when I wasn't meeting the number, only one stat, I was like, you know what? If if me being who I am and providing this excellent customer service, this job is not for me. I'm not going to want to be stressed out going out into production worried about this one stat if i had a hard enough time to you know bring it down and but like i said once i got into my rhythm y'all it was no stopping me no stopping me i found that balance oh my goodness when you find that balance it's a wonderful feeling and um you know my people my girl she was like she was always confident in me my trainers were confident in me they's like you can't you got everything else you just got to get your talk time down and I'm like, no, that doesn't make any sense. And, you know, I was against it, y'all. I was against it, no lie. I'm like, no, I got to do this. I got to do this. But I found that rhythm. And I feel like, yo, y'all, y'all, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. You know, I can bonus every month. And we'll see how that goes. And I, I have a full-time job, y'all. I'm certified. I have a full-time job. And I'm proud of myself. I am very proud of myself. And we'll see what's next. You know, this job is for me. And I felt that feels good to know that this job is for me. And I, I, I felt that kind of way. You know, you go through your ups and downs. You go through all of your emotions. But, you know, going from that part-time job and then getting hired on at this job when I applied. Because I applied for this company years back. Got denied. And it's just like, wow, everything works out. Everything works out. Like, man, I wanted part-time. I was blessed to have part-time, you know. Things in my life is going to be changing, you know. And, you know, my son's getting older. Things are going to start changing. And I'm like, it's time for me to go back full time. Like, this doesn't even feel like a job. Like, I never want a job to feel like a job, you know? When I was working part-time, four hours, I'm like, hey, I'll give you my four hours. And then after that, I'm out. But this right here, y'all, doesn't feel like a job. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I I'm happy I took that leap and, you know, put myself out there when I did because it's only been our class and one other class after us that started the, on December 2nd. We started November 14th, and then there was a second class. And after that, there hasn't been any other classes for our department, the dual class. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy I applied when I did, y'all. I brought you through my journey of the application process, how that was, and it was just so easy, like, I'm like, this was meant for me. But then you go through taking the cause and you go through, you know, trying to get certified. And it's just like, it's a whole month of working through getting certified, right? And it's just like, wait, um, first weekend, nah. second weekend, mm. third weekend, I'm like, mm. <laughs> but I found my rhythm towards like the last two and a half weeks and two weeks last two weeks of training and i just whoop found my rhythm y'all and I, i'm i feel blessed i feel really blessed and it's not about the income y'all it's it's a job that i enjoy i like finances and that's what i'm in in both departments okay i do credit cards and i do banking so best of both worlds at my full-time job i did credit cards my part-time job this last part-time job it was just banking and loans 
and like auto loan questions. I didn't do much. I didn't do that stuff. I answered questions. Um, and then I don't know if you guys ever knew, but back in the day before, before my previous full-time job, I had another full-time job and that was in banking. I was there for like, what, three years until I got into a shelter and I had to let that job go. But yeah, I've always like banking, banking, banking has been me. Um, I have had, um, prior to bank getting into banking, um, and you know, the finance world, which is credit cards and, and such, I did, uh, cell phones, uh, I was like customer service for cell phone service. I think we did like the, uh, the company I worked for, they serviced T-Mobile and then they switched around, did like Verizon. And then prior to that, I worked at Staples. So I haven't had really many jobs, you guys, since I've been in the actual workforce since 16. But of course, I had little odds and end jobs before then. But, you know, getting my money. And when I was hustling, when I was younger, y'all, my school had programs. You you guys giving me a stipend? Oh, you got a summer program? You paying me money? Oh, I got you. I got you. Get me out the house? I got you. <laughs> um, But yeah, y'all, I hope to be at this company forever. Okay, I hope to be at this company forever. And like this company has so, so many options available. Whereas my previous full time job did not have that. Like, it was hard to get to the next phase. This job, you want to do something? Oh, you can get there. They will offer you that position, you know. But what they say is like, you know, no people know people you know get your get your circle going but i'm like okay i can do that no problem but let my experience me being who i am my rep what i bring to the table mean something too you know what i mean don't let's like oh you know this person you can get in i feel like that's where some of the downfalls at this company may be like you're putting people in these positions because of who they know Versus what they know. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, I don't care for that too much. But um, I'm not trying to go places. But like, if I could do more than what I'm doing and it not be like in a supervisor position, y'all, I'll go for it. But um, I got a year before that even happens. Anyways, I think we got to be in our current position for at least a year. So before we can like transfer out to other things. But I would definitely like to help out with like new classes and stuff like that. And yeah, y'all, that's the good news. I have some other videos I would like to do, uh, which I'll do them when the time comes because stuff has been on my mind. And uh, but I just wanted to tell you guys the good news, my feelings, and yeah, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. I'm in a very good place and I'm happy and I don't want, I don't take it for granted. <laughs> you know, I'm still working at Amazon. Amazon has not fired me. They haven't even talked to me about that second time of going over my unpaid time off that I did not even have for to schedule. Like I didn't have the time for the full day that I took off, but um, we'll see. <laughs> it's been what, like two weeks now and nobody has said anything but whatever but now i'm like okay amazon if it's for me i'll keep it you know it's just like yes this is like what i feel like i'm not forcing myself on something and um yeah y'all all right i'll talk to you guys so enjoy your weekend all right bye